Hello, you guys. Welcome to my channel. Jesus wants you. I'm the Watchman on the Wall, Nikki Pratt. Happy, happy new year. Happy new year to you guys. This is 2019. It's a blessed year. We are grateful and thankful. Amen. Okay. I have a, uh, of course, warning video to do. I kind of mentioned it to you guys uh, about it, and um, I hate to be um, coming into the new year with this uh, sort of a unsettling or news, but hey, I got to be obedient and, and do what needs to be done, okay? Um, many of you that subscribe to me heard me talk about this, about this, um, this word that I heard, unsheathing. I've never really heard it, but, I, you know, I looked at it, unsheathing, unsheathing, unsheath or unsheathing, to draw or pull out a knife, a sword, or a similar weapon from its sheath or covering and I like to do a little demonstration sometime this is the covering okay this is the sword this knife right here this little plastic knife is this sword the Lord is has taken out the sword and removing has re, has removed the cover from the sword against the false prophets, the unsheathing judgment against false prophets is here. The unsheathing, remember I said there is going to be uh, all the false, basically all the false prophets is fixing to be found out. For those who did not know for lack of discernment or who they are, who they were, who they is. Bad English, good teaching. You're going to know. You're going to know. There's a lot of things that's going around on YouTube. I'm seeing it. This watchman is seeing it. And I'm saying, Lord, reveal. I spent some time in my prayer closet today in tears because it, it's just, it hurts me to see these people being deceived. And there are, these false prophets have like no heart, no care. I mean, and, and it's, it's just unsettling to me. And it, it really, really, really grieves me in the spirit and it, it hurts. Because there's so much deception that is taking place in the world, period. The people of God don't need to be led astray. That's why it's so important that we stay close to the Lord. I said this earlier today. You don't have to be a prophet to hear from the Lord. We have to, and I say this to y'all, I say this to myself as well. I'm, 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 a servant is not above his master. I'm not more, I'm not uh, perfect, and I'm not better than you guys. It's the same message, okay? So we have to uh, seek him in everything, in everything we do, but it's, it's just so sad. And when I, I, I looked under this particular video, and all these people are just, blinded these particular prophets this one particular prophet is 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 basically is fixing to be i mean like the biggest open shame that there's going to be i you know i'm i'm uh let me put it this way what they say when uh you in you in court and you have to keep your mouth closed the, i'm under a gag order put it that way I'm not going to say nothing. I'm just going to sit back and watch the Lord move because this is sad. And I was in my closet today in tears. I'm like, Lord, enough is enough. And this particular person will not repent. Won't. We 
must pray. I'm going to pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, for all those listening under the sound of my voice, Lord, we come together, Lord God, in your holy name, asking for forgiveness of our sins, known and unknown. Father, I pray for the hearts of those that are be listening, Lord God, that they would hear and not forbear. Those that may be under the sound of my voice, Lord God, may be subscribers or members of, of such uh, false prophets or uh, false teachers or whatever, Lord God. I just pray, Lord God, that the scales and the unveiling, the uncovering, Lord God, will be unveiled before they very eyes. Lord, let them not be deceived. Father, you say we are not to be ignorant of Satan's devices. Father, I pray, Lord God, that wisdom and discernment will be poured upon your people. Lord, let them not be deceived. And I pray, Lord, that they get, you give them the revelation knowledge that they need, Lord God, to get from under these wolves and sheep clothing, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I bind every, Lord God, lying spirit in their ear. I bind every spirit of divination. I bind the Jezebel spirit, Lord God, that is trying to take hold of them. I bind it and rebuke it in Jesus' name. I decree and declare, Lord God, that they will come out from among them, Lord God. The sheep are scattered in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray your will be done on this, in this situation. And Father, I pray, Lord God, that those that may be under the, under the sound of my voice and under such ministries, Lord God, will get this revelation knowledge and will unsubscribe and leave these camps in Jesus' name. Lord, let them not be ignorant of Satan's devices. Lord, I pray for spiritual awakening in this. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Okay. There's a lifting of the skirt. Not only this is getting ready to be a message to the false prophets, this is also going to be a message for those that follow these false prophets. Okay? All right. So turn your Bibles to Jeremiah chapter 14. Jeremiah chapter 14, I'm going to start in verse 10 uh, through 19. Verse 10, thus saith the Lord unto this people, thus have they loved to wander, they have not refrained their feet. Therefore, the Lord doth not accept them. He will now remember their iniquity, iniquity meaning sin, and visit their sins. Then said the Lord unto me, Pray not for this people for their good. When they fast, I will not hear their cry. And when they offer burnt offering and an oblation, I will not accept them, but I will consume them by the sword and by the famine and by the pestilence. Then said I, Ah, Lord God, behold, the prophets say unto them, Ye shall not see the sword, neither shall ye have famine, but I will give you assured peace in this place. Then the Lord said unto me, The prophets prophesy lies in my name. I sent them not, neither spake unto them. They prophesy unto you a false vision and divination, and a thing of naught, and the deceit of their heart and the deceit of their heart without revealing information I'm t there is profit stealing prophecies that's all I'm going to say about that therefore thus said the Lord concerning the prophets that prophesy in my name and I sent them not yet they say Sword and famine shall not be in this land. By sword and famine shall those prophets be consumed. And the people to whom they prophesy shall be cast out in the streets. You hear this? And the people to whom 
they prophesy shall be cast out in the streets of Jerusalem because of the famine and the sword, and they shall have none to bury them, them their wives, nor their sons, nor their daughters, for I will pour their wickedness upon them. Therefore thou shalt say this word unto them, Let mine eyes run down with tears night and day, and let them not cease. For the virgin daughter of my people is broken with a great breach, with a very grievous blow. If I go forth into the field, then behold the slain with the sword. And if I enter into the city, then behold them that are sick with famine. Yea, both the prophet and the priest go about into the land that they know not. Hast thou utterly rejected Judah? Hath thou so loathed Zion? Why hast thou smitten us? And there is no healing for us. We look for peace, and there is no good. And for the time of healing, and behold, trouble. Let's back up. This is how I got this. Back up to verse 7. O Lord, thou our iniquity, though our, ini no, I'm sorry, thou, is that though, though, yeah, though, I'm sorry, our iniquities testify against us, do thou it for thy name's sake, for our backslidings are many, we have sinned against thee, so basically verse 7 what this is saying is basically a lot of these false prophets that is doing this wickedness on 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 YouTube is really getting ready to expose themselves. Jeremiah chapter 13, verse 25 through 26. This is thy lot, thy portion of thy measures from me, said the Lord. Because thou hast forgotten me and trusted in falsehood. Therefore will I discover thy skirts upon thy face that thy shame may appear. Remember I said the skirts is fixing to be tossed up. All right. Isaiah chapter 47 verse 3. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. Let me tell you, those people that follow such prophets and you've been backing these false prophets for lack of discernment and lack of knowledge, whatever they get, you will get. Their shame is going to bear you shame. So I'm telling you, Hear me. Repent. If, you, if the Lord is pressing up on your heart and you have a great conviction right now, take this before the Lord. Go before him on your knees and repent. Say, Lord, I believe that I have been under X, Y, Z. Listen to this uh, particular ministry and have been deceived. Please forgive me. Because there's a particular prophet that has a Jezebel spirit, you guys. Revelation chapter 2. Whatever Jezebel get, you would get. Y'all don't want that. Trust me, you don't want that. You don't want that. And um, I, I see this coming. I mean, it's about to blow. I mean, it, it's it's about to it's about to unveil. It's about to be open. It's about to unsheathe. It's about to uncover, and the sword is there. There's a, a particular prophet that just refused to stop, refused to repent. Just I, I just. It's so sad. It's so sad. I just don't like it. I just cannot. I don't like it. I don't. 
it's a hurting thing and I'm I'm telling you it just it makes me ache and I, I really hate it you know it's there's a, a such thing as a false prophet there's a such thing as I this is what I've been seeing as well I'm seeing the true prophets of the Lord be called be called false and the false ones be called mighty men and women of God. And it's, it's some of, I'm not going to say some of you listening to me right now. I'm praying none of you are under the, you know, these such false prophets. But. I was just amazed. I was just amazed at the comments and how people are really not looking. They're really not listening. If you would just take the time to listen. But I'm seeing what's happening. There are no scripture. There is no Bible reading with these false prophets you bring a word if you I, you know I'm not perfect now let me say this there's a such thing as I started to say this earlier there's a such thing as prophets in error and there's a such thing as pro false prophets pro genuine genuine prophets do make mistakes we're human you know what i'm saying i i know that there there are, are dreams that we we come in and you know dreams are symbols and and has symbolism to certain things i've seen it happen with me and it could be saying one thing but actually be another it's a, it's a it's a learning mechanism but to just be a right out false prophet I've seen that these are agents of Satan just like the word said in Jeremiah the Lord has said the Lord said I have in Jeremiah chapter 14 he said I have not sent them I have not sent them and I'm telling you it is amazing to me I'm, I'm looking at some of the comments and I'm like what are they hearing? What are they listening at? What are they not what are they not seeing? But it's getting like I said, it's it's getting ready. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. It's getting ready to be unveiled. It's getting ready to be unveiled. It's a sad situation. But I, like I said, I'm seeing true prophets of God being labeled as false prophets. And um, they have no idea what they're doing with the, the, uh, against the true prophets of God. And the false ones, they're calling them mighty men and women of God. Oh, you know, some of the stuff I've seen these couple of days, I've been like, oh, no, you have got to be kidding me. No way. Y'all, It's I have such a fear of the Lord. I, I think sometimes I'll repent of something that don't even have nothing to do with me. Or if, if I slightly think, you know, I'm a Lord, I repent. Remove it. Help me. That's all it's about. True prophets of God have a heart for the people. I thought that I could bring this video without tears.
But y'all, I see so much deception that is taking place and it is just a hurting thing because I feel the Lord's heart in this. And he really wants the people to turn to him and to come to him. Y'all have to, <laughs> y'all have to forgive me for crying, but it's just, if you don't have a heart for the people, you can't do this. And it's, it's just, I just do not understand how <laughs> these particular prophets, this particular one in particular, false prophet. Oh, man. All I know is this. There's been time for them to repent, and they won't. And there's so many people that is being misled and deceived and will follow that Jezebel spirit. And it's just... It's just not right. I just, oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. But, like I said, prophets can error. That's one thing. But to manipulate, dominate, and intimidate people is witchcraft. Witchcraft. There are some of you, again, I hope none listen to me, but there are some people that are under these such memory, uh, ministries have spells on them. I mean, to the point where they sound just like their shepherd that's feeding them. I mean, sounds just like them. And I mean, they they actually are backing these particular people. That's all I'm going to say about that. I, I'm just going to sit back and um, watch the Lord work. Because vengeance is mine, said the Lord. And he's fixing to reign with this sword. I just pray that they repent. And I pray that any of you, you know, if you have an unsettling, uh, 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 just not a peace with a certain particular person, even with me, take it to the Lord. Oh, take it to the Lord. Ask the question. The Lord will reveal to you if somebody is real or not. Look, I love you guys. See you next video. Thanks.